Good day everyone! We are here to discuss about more season. But before that, I am Jennifer D. Faragiri and here are my members. Hazel Suwal, Mera Nito, Jessa Abigail Arisa, and Joyce Abigail Arisa from b Limited to see Major in Garment Fashion and Design. Our season is a political, social, and economic theory originated by Karl Marx. He focuses on struggle between capitalism and working class. Karl Heinrich Marx, born on May 5, 1818, in Tyr province of Russia, Germany, died on March 14, 1883, in London, England. He is a revolutionary sociologist, historian, and economist. Classical Marxism Marx argues that each significant period in history is constructed around a particular mode of production. That is, the way in which a society is organized, slave, feudal, capitalist, to produce the necessaries of life, food, shelter, etc. In general terms, each mode of production produces specific ways of obtaining the necessaries of life, specific social relationships between workers and those who control the mode of production, and specific social institutions, including cultural ones. It's the claim that how a society produces its means of existence, its particular mode of production, ultimately determines the political, social, and cultural shape of that society and its possible future development. Marx explains the mode of production of material life conditions the social, political, and intellectual life process in general. This claim is based on certain assumptions about the relationship between base and superstructure. It is on this relationship between base and superstructure that the Marxist account of culture rests. Base consists of a combination of the forces of production and the relations of production. Forces of production refer to the raw materials, the tools, the technology, the workers, and their skills, etc. Relations of production refer to the class relations of those engaged in production. That is, each mode of production besides being different, say, in terms of its basis in art, rather or industrial production is also different in that it produces particular relations of production. These are the mode of production. Slave mode produces master-slave relations. Feudal mode produces lord-peasant relations. Capitalist mode produces bourgeois proletariat relations. It is in the sense that one's class position is determined by one's relationship to their mode of production. Superstructure consists of institutions, political, legal, educational, cultural, etc. And definite forms of social consciousness, political, religious, ethical, philosophical, aesthetic, cultural, etc. generated by these institutions. The relationship between base and superstructure is twofold. On the one hand, the superstructure both expresses and legitimates the base. On the other, the base is said to conduction or determine the content and form of the superstructure. Althusserianism, the ideas of Louis Althusser, have had an enormous influence on cultural theory and popular culture. Hall 1978 suggests Althusser's inventions and their consequent development are enormously formative for the field of cultural studies. Althusser produced three definitions of ideology, two of which have proved particularly fruitful for the student of popular culture. The first definition, which overlaps in some ways with the second, is the claim the ideology with its own logic and rigor of representations, images, myths, ideas, or concepts. The relationship is both real and imagin imaginary rather in the sense that ideology. This formulation leads Althusser to the concept of the problematic. He first uses the concept to explain the epistemological break, which he claims occurs in Marx's work in the 1845. Marx 
problematic objective internal reference system, the system of questions commanding the answers given 67 determines not only the questions and answer is able to bring into play, but also the absence of problems and concept in his work. According to Alster, a problematic consists of the assumptions, motivations, underlying ideas, etc., from which a text, say, an advert is made. Althusser argues that if we are to fully understand the meaning of the text, we have to aware of not only what is in a text but also the assumptions which inform it and which may not appear in the text itself in any straightforward way but exist only in the text problematic. The task of an actuarian critical practice is to deconstruct the text to reveal the problematic. Hegemony Hegemony is never simply power imposed from above. It is always the result of negotiations between dominant and subordinate groups, a process marked by both resistance and incorporation. The concept of hegemony allows students of popular culture to free themselves from the disabling analysis of many of the precious approaches to the subjects. Hegemony theory allows to think of popular culture as a negotiated mix of what is made both from above and from below, both commercial and authentic, as shifting balance of forces between resistance and incorporation. post marxism and Cultural Studies post marxism can mean at least two things. As Ernesto Laclau and Chanta Mofe in 2001, point out in their deeply influential contribution to post-Marxist hegemony as socialist strategy towards a radical democratic politics, if our intellectual project in this book is post-Marxist, it is evidently also post-Marxist. To be post-Marxist is to leave behind Marxism for something better, whereas to be post-Marxist is to seek to transfer Marxism by adding to it recent theoretical developments from especially feminism, postmodernism, post-structuralism, and Lacarian psychoanalysis. That would be all. Thank you.